Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card featuring the Stamp Timber Simon Says Stamp and W Plus 9 collaboration stamp set called Band Camp. And it's this darling set of little band camp or band kids, and then lots of fun greetings that you can mix and match to create lots of different cards. I am going to stamp all four of the kid images here in a row, and then I'm going to incorporate a couple of the accessory stamps and some greetings for this fun birthday card. I'm going to start with the two images in the center of the band line here and work my way out. So I had laid everything out before I stamped it just to kind of make sure that I liked how it all looked. Here's one of those accessories where the little flag that you can have this little band girl holding. You could also um, use one of the musical instruments or something else if you would rather. And then I stamped one of these small greetings that says hip hip hooray into the flag. I'll go ahead and finish with the last two band kids on either side. I like to start in the middle and stamp my way out from the middle. That way it makes sure that it's nice and even. Now this one didn't stamp as well as the others, of course, I got to the last one. So I just took a Copic Bolti liner and traced over some of those areas that maybe didn't um, stamp as clearly or as cleanly as I wanted them to. And that way I didn't have to re-stamp the entire thing and go through all that work of, of re-stamping this. Now once I had that all stamped, I'm going to go ahead and speed through the coloring of these kids. These are the colors listed across the top of the screen here are the colors I used for um, all of the images, or the skin tones I guess for the images. I went ahead and colored all of the skin tones first and then I'll work my way to the uniforms and the hair and any of the um, extra little bits here and there once I finish coloring each section. I really tried to do it section by section so it would, it would make it easy to show exactly what colors I used. Every once in a while I had to skip back and forth if I missed a little area or something like that. I did color all of their band uniforms in the same colors just to make it easy. You could definitely, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, I kind of went with the school colors for my two oldest kids high school, just, I don't know, probably it was stuck in my mind. Um, you could do them in any colors that you wanted to, maybe your favorite college teams, your your, fa your high or children's high school colors, um, whatever you like. You could definitely make them a little bit more uh, childlike with some lighter colors as well. Finish coloring these in. Now I did, you probably see there's a couple little spots where I got outside the lines and I'll show you how I kind of fixed that a little bit later. These images are kind of small and a couple of the tips on my markers probably need to be replaced because I was trying to be pretty careful and the marker tips are just, on some of my mo uh, more frequently used markers, I definitely think I could replace them, especially like this R24 here. I'm going to do the tops for all of the band uniforms in red. I accidentally colored over the cuff there on that second little kid image from the left and I can fix that because I'm going to do kind of a navyish color for the pants and the cuffs so I'll just color over that here in a little bit. I'm going to stick to just about two colors for the shading. Like I said, pretty small images. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy with trying to do a whole lot of shading and things like that for such a small image. I love watching the cute little kids or band kids here come to life with each section that's colored with the Copic markers. Go ahead and skip to the pants now. And this is where I'm going to try to color them a kind of navy color. I started with B37 and then I thought I would use B24. And I found that I thought that was just a little too royalish blue. You can see here, I'll do the pants here on the first kid. I didn't really like that. So I ended up going over that with B97 and stuck to B37 and 97 for my navy. 
and I liked that a lot, lot better. I'll go ahead and go in with one of those blue colors as well. I went back in and added a tiny bit of shading here and there, just where I thought it needed it, and I didn't even bother to blend that out. Here's I'll color in the cuffs with one of those blue colors. I'm going to use B37, it looks like. And then I can go in on the hats. I'm going to add a little B37, and I can go back in with B97 to shade that out. Again, I tried to color everything of one color at one time just to make it a little bit easier. Get those little hats colored in. And I realized I hadn't colored in the hair at this point. Usually I go from the skin tone to the hair and then go out from there. And this time I didn't, which is kind of unlike how I normally color. So once I get these hats colored in, I'm going to skip down and do their hair real quick. Go ahead and fill in the red on their hats for their cute little uniforms. I added some red to the stars on the one drum on the snare, added some blue to the rest of the uniforms up top, and then I'll do some cool grays for the shoes. Again, doing these all at one time, kind of trying to do it as quickly as possible, and then I'll take some cool grays to do my darkest hair colors. Just a little C8 and C6 to start these. I'm going to try to make this hair a little curly, so I started with C6 and C8, little C2, and I'll, a little BV04 as well, nice highlights. And then I went back in with C8, and I didn't think it was still dark enough, so I went in with a little C9. Added some curls down here, and I like that a lot better. A little E55 and 57 for this little boy's hair, and then E31, 55, and 57 for this last girl. I decided not to change up too many hair colors or go grab too many different colors of markers. I kept them all, did two kind of similar and the other two similar. Add the red stripes to the pants. And then I'm going to blend out some of the gray here on some of the instruments. Add a little E57 to the drumsticks. Here's some cool grays here and there. And then I forgot to color in the banner when I had my reds out, so I'm going to go ahead and take R24, R46, and then I'm even going to blend in a little R39 for the banner. Since it's a little bit bigger area, I can do a little bit more shading. Little C00 to blend out the C2, and then some C9 to finish coloring out the band instruments. I'm going to take a black gel pen and add detail to the eyes. A little E57 for the pole there that the flag is on. And then I'm going to use a white gel pen to add some detail here and there. Now this is where I'm going to fix some of those little mistakes where I got out of line, out of the lines. And I'll just cover that up with my white gel pen. Kind of helps fix any of those mistakes and then you don't have to go back and redo the entire thing. I'm also adding detail to the uniforms, the hats, little things like that. I'm going to take a Stardust glitter pen and add detail to some of the instruments as well, and then the little tops of the hats too. Adds a nice little glitter touch. I'm going to go ahead and take a Pretty Pink Posh Stitched Borders 3 die and die cut that from some Simon Says Stamp Soft Navy cardstock. This is going to add just a nice little contrast to the card. Otherwise, it's a pretty clean and simple looking card. I'm going to have this white border there on my card. And then I'll have that navy strip where my main part of my greeting. Part of the greeting is in that flag that I've already colored or stamped and colored. But the rest of the greeting is going to be stamped and embossed on this navy strip. And I like the decorative stitched edges along the top and bottom of this strip. I'll use the powder tool first so that the embossing powder sticks only to the stamped image. I'm going to stamp that with Versamark ink right in the center, sprinkle on some white embossing powder, and then heat set that. I want it to be nice and bold and white. goes with the rest of the design of the card. Now because I trimmed this panel, I was thinking I was going to do something a little different, I think, when I started the card. I trimmed another little white piece, and I'm going to piece them together, and it will be hidden 
underneath that greeting strip. So I'm going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive to the back of the stamped and colored panel and then the rest of the little white panel. It's going to give it a little bit of dimension on a white card base. This is one of the Simon Says Stamp uh, folded note cards for their stamp timber release. They're already scored and ready to use. And I'll piece together here that panel so it looks like it, it's like it's a seamless panel. You can see I didn't cut it exactly right, but I can hide that with my greeting strip. Add some adhesive to that and go ahead and place that right over that seam underneath the cute band kids. And I'll take my scissors and trim off any of that excess then. I want it to be even with this dimensional panel there on the card. Make sure it's nice and straight. And that gives a nice contrast to all the white going on. I'm going to finish with a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh sequins. I'm using some of the 4 millimeter silver metallic sequins and then the little star sequins as well. I'm attaching them with some bling glue dots. I love these glue dots for no mess. And that'll add a nice little bit of sparkle and added interest, especially with such a clean and simple background going on with this card. So I'll finish adding these. Make sure they're all secure and I want them to kind of go from that upper left corner down to the bottom right corner. A lot of times that is how I do my sequins from one corner to the other diagonally. Once I have those all in place, my card is finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Stamp Timber Simon Says Stamp and W Plus 9 Band Camp Stamp Set. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.